you guys loved my last video on how to make keto ice cream that's creamy, scoopable, easy to make, and without eggs, that I just had to give you guys some more flavor options. I love that recipe, and if you haven't seen that video, a click up here to watch it, but it is a good base recipe. Not only is it just creamy vanilla ice cream, but we can use that recipe to make a bunch of different flavors. So let's get going on some more keto ice cream. five new keto ice cream flavors for you, including how to make dairy-free ice cream. These recipes are all easy. You're gonna get creamy, scoopable ice cream without having to use eggs. We're gonna use that special ingredient I talked about in my last video, but I'm also give you options on other ingredients that you could use in its place in order to get that creamy texture. And I'm gonna give you options for how to churn it in your ice cream maker, plus down below I'll have options on how you can make a no-churn version. Let's first start with how to make mocha ice cream. I am a huge fan of coffee flavored ice cream. I know it's not for everyone, but trust me, this ice cream is delicious. My husband, who doesn't really like coffee ice cream, had this one and he loved it. To make the base for this ice cream recipe, we're gonna start with two cups of heavy cream. And for that slight chocolate flavor for this ice cream, I'm gonna be adding Cacao Bliss. This is by Earth Echo, it is a raw, cacao powder superfood blend. So it has a bunch of different superfoods in it, including cinnamon and turmeric, which add really incredible flavor to the smoke ice cream. There's also MCT oil, lacuma, um, black pepper to help with the turmeric absorption. It's a lot of good items in here and it's tasty, slightly sweetened and sugar-free. Thank you Earth Echo and Cacao Bliss for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in trying their products, I'll have some information listed down below as well as a discount where you can save. We're gonna use a quarter cup of Cacao Bliss and down below in the description box, I'll have a link to the recipe where I'll have substitutes listed if you didn't wanna use Cacao Bliss. Now I do wanna suggest that as you're mixing this up that you just slowly add in your cacao bliss or cocoa powder while you're whisking. This will ensure that it gets fully incorporated and you're not left with just chunks of chocolate in there. If it's kinda of chunky, then just either get out your electric mixer and slightly mix it or put it in a blender and pulse it a few times. You don't wanna over mix it because it will get to become like a whipped cream texture. And if you're trying to turn it later, that might be a little bit hard and, and the texture might be a little off. Now, even though our cacao bliss is slightly sweetened with some monk fruit, I'm gonna add a little bit more sweetness to our ice cream base, it just needs it. It's gonna be two tablespoons of a powdered sweetener. I'm using your breath for tall. We're also gonna need an eighth teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of vodka or white rum, and that's what's gonna make our ice cream super creamy and scoopable. And then for that coffee flavor, we're gonna add a half a tablespoon of instant espresso powder. Whisk this together until it's combined. After everything's combined, I recommend putting your mixture in a refrigerator for a couple of hours. It just allows those flavors to meld together, plus it helps with the texture. Once those two hours are up, take your mixture and pour it into your favorite ice cream maker. I'll have my favorite listed down below. I do recommend using an ice cream maker to make all of these ice creams just because it makes for the best texture. But if you don't have an ice cream maker, you can make a no-churn version, which is before you refrigerate it, you actually do whip it up into almost like a whipped cream consistency or texture, put it in a freezer safe container, put it in the freezer overnight or until it's hardened. I love the flavor of this ice cream. The combination of the espresso with the cacao bliss and the raw cacao powder blend with the superfoods, it's so good. I highly recommend it. Moving on to our next flavor, we're gonna be making a strawberry ice cream and this is gonna be made out of real strawberries too. To start, we're gonna take a cup and a half of fresh strawberries that I've quartered, put it in a blender along with a quarter cup of powdered sweetener. Once again, I'm using erythritol, you could use whatever blend you want. Give this a good pulse until it starts to just release its juices. I like mine a little bit chunky because I want some strawberry chunks in my ice cream, but if you don't like chunks of strawberry, puree it until it's pretty much liquid. Then we're gonna mix together two cups of heavy cream along with your strawberry puree. Add in an eighth a teaspoon of salt 
and then two tablespoons of vodka or white rum. Once again, I'll have some substitutions listed down below that you guys can use if you don't wanna use alcohol. Give it a good mix and then store it in the refrigerator for a couple hours before coming back and giving it a churn. super creamy. You can taste the creaminess with those fresh strawberries. It's delicious. And I do have a suggestion. If you guys don't have fresh strawberries and you just have frozen, you can use that as well. It works perfectly fine in this recipe. Now, before we move any further, let's talk about a non-dairy keto ice cream that you guys can make. This recipe is super easy. Of course, like all of my recipes, I want it to be simple for you guys. Um, it doesn't require any eggs as well. So in place of a heavy cream, we're gonna add two cans of coconut milk. You wanna get the unsweetened and the full fat kind. To that, we're gonna add an eighth a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of vanilla paste, and again, two tablespoons of vodka or white rum. Give that a mix, put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours just to let those flavors come together, and then we're gonna churn it just the same way in our ice cream maker. recipe is great because it is a good base non-dairy keto ice cream for you. So if you want to have those different flavors, then you just add on those extras to this. It's super creamy and scoopable, and it does have that slight coconut flavor. So if you're not a big fan of coconut, you might not want to have this recipe, but I do enjoy it. And I'm not really a big fan of coconut flavor besides like a slushy. Of course, I had to give you guys a keto chocolate ice cream recipe. I love this recipe, it is so good. It's probably one of the best chocolate ice creams I've had in a while, and it's really hard to tell that it's keto. For this, we're actually not gonna start with just our mixing bowl first. We're gonna start with everything on a saucepan. And the reason why is because we need to melt some chocolate, and I don't wanna end up with just chunks of floating chocolate in there, although that's probably really good if you wanted to try that too. So in a saucepan, I'm gonna add my two cups of heavy cream along with a quarter cup of powdered sweetener, and then two tablespoons of unsweetened 100% cocoa powder, and an eighth a teaspoon of salt. Mix this together and heat it until there's just a light boil, and then we're gonna remove it. And then in a bowl, I'm gonna add six ounces of keto chocolate. I'll have my favorite one listed down below. You could use dark chocolate, milk chocolate, whatever kind you want, even white chocolate would be good. And we're gonna pour this hot mixture over my chips. Kinda let it sit for a minute or so and then stir it. Stir until it is creamy and smooth. And don't forget your two tablespoons of vodka or white rum, make sure that is incorporated into your mixture. And at this point, we'll put it in a refrigerator. I'm only gonna put it in there though for 30 minutes just because I'm worried that it might get a little bit too hard if I go beyond that, because that did happen once before. And then we're going to churn it in our ice cream maker. As you can see, this makes a super creamy keto chocolate ice cream. It is so good. If you are one of those people that love like the death by chocolate or those rich chocolatey ice cream types, this recipe is for you. Of course, you could tone it down a little bit if you don't really like a deep chocolate flavor um, and just use milk chocolate instead. Maybe add a little bit more sweetener. But of course, always get a keto approved chocolate because we don't want that excess sugar in there. 
Now my last flavor, I saved to the end because it is my favorite flavor. It is from my childhood. We're gonna make keto bubblegum ice cream. To a small bowl, I'm gonna add in two cups of heavy whipping cream. For sweetness, I'm gonna add in a third cup of powdered sweetener, an eighth a teaspoon of salt, and then to get that bubblegum flavor, I'm gonna be using a bubblegum extract. I'll have the one that I used for this recipe down below in the description box, as well as some other suggestions too. We're gonna to add a half of a teaspoon. You could even go as high as three quarters of a teaspoon if you really want that bubblegum flavor, but half a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon will be just fine. And then to get that fun blue coloring, I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of a blue color powder. This is more of a natural approach. You could use blue food dye if you wanted to, but I'm gonna be using blue butterfly pea flower. I'll have it listed down below in the description box if you guys are interested in using that instead of blue food coloring. Of course, you need to add in your two tablespoons of vodka or white rum, mix it together, put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours, and then when you're ready to turn some ice cream, you come back, pour it in, churn away. I like to add in a little bit of some keto sprinkles to it. These are sugar-free sprinkles. Makes it super fun and just adds this little bit of crunch when you bite into your ice cream. This flavor totally reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to get bubblegum ice cream all the time from our local burger joint down the street. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite type of ice cream is. Which one are you gonna try first?